Hello everyone, you are watching the channel Incredible Facts. The British Army operates a range of aircraft and helicopters that play vital roles in its operations. The Army Air Corps is responsible for aviation support and operates helicopters for various missions. In addition to helicopters, the British Army also operates fixed-wing aircraft. These aircraft and helicopters provide the British Army with critical air support, enabling rapid mobility, aerial reconnaissance, and effective engagement of targets. They enhance the Army's operational capabilities across a wide range of missions and contribute to its readiness and effectiveness on the battlefield. Today, we will show you the 10 best aircraft and helicopters in the British Army. BAE Systems Hawk The BAE Systems Hawk is a British single-engine jet-powered advanced trainer aircraft. It was first known as the Hawker Sidley Hawk and subsequently produced by its successor companies, British Aerospace and BAE Systems. It has been used in a training capacity and as a low-cost combat aircraft. Operators of the Hawk include the Royal Air Force, notably the Red Arrows display team, and several foreign military operators. The Hawk is an advanced two-seat trainer with a tandem cockpit, a low-mounted cantilever wing, and is powered by a single turbofan engine. The Hawk has been praised by pilots for its agility, in particular its roll and turn handling. The design of the fuselage included a height differential between the two seats of the cockpit. This provided generous levels of visibility for the instructor in the rear seat. The Hawk was designed to be maneuverable and can reach 670 miles per hour, 1,078 kilometers per hour in level flight, and 875 miles per hour, 1,409 kilometers per hour in a dive, thus allowing trainees to experience transonic flight before advancing to a supersonic trainer. Anavia Tornado The Tornado multi-role aircraft is operational in five different forms. The aircraft entered service in 1980 and ceased production in 1998. The Tornado was manufactured by Panavia, a consortium of BAE systems. The Tornado Interdictor Strike IDS aircraft is equipped with an advanced sensor and defensive aid suite for low-level, deep penetration missions in all weathers by day and by night. The aircraft is fitted with two 25mm cannons on each side of the fuselage. It is equipped with a wide range of weapons. For close air support and interdiction, the aircraft is typically equipped with iron bombs, cluster bombs, and laser-guided bombs. In the defense suppression role, it is equipped with anti-radar missiles. The air defense variant, ADV Tornado, is armed with short-range and medium-range air-to-air missiles. A typical weapons payload includes four Sidewinder short-range missiles and four Skyflash medium-range missiles. The aircraft is equipped with a BAE Systems Fox Hunter radar, which provides long-range search capability and enables the aircraft to engage targets at beyond visual range. Westland Puma HC-2 The Puma HC-MK-2 is a Royal Air Force medium support helicopter. It is used in a variety of combat roles, including the tactical movement of troops, weapons, ammunition, and stores on the battlefield as well as the extraction of casualties and in response to medical emergencies on the front line. It is also employed during non-combatant evacuations and humanitarian and disaster relief operations. The helicopter is capable of carrying 16 passengers, 12 fully equipped troops, or up to 2 tons of freight. The latter moved as integral cargo or underslung, or a mix of the two. It can also be fitted with up to six stretchers for operations in the casualty evacuation or medical emergency response team role. With more powerful engines, greater range than the Puma HC MK1, and a modern digital cockpit, the Puma HC MK2 is capable of operating in harsh environments, lifting troops, supplies, and humanitarian aid wherever needed, especially under hot and high conditions. The helicopter can be prepared for transport by C-17 in just four hours, flown across the globe, and rebuilt and returned to flying just as quickly as the destination, making it a highly mobile, deployable battlefield support helicopter. Westland Lynx Launched as part of the Anglo-French Helicopter Agreement of 1967, the Lynx design is wholly of Westland origin 
but production of the type is shared in the ratio of 70-30 between GKN Westland in the UK and Eurocopter France. At the time of its introduction, it was arguably the most capable and versatile helicopter in its class. All versions of the Lynx have advanced digital flight controls plus all-weather avionics. The four-bladed semi-rigid main rotor confers a level of agility matched by no other helicopter of its generation. The major operator is the Royal Navy. The Lynx is its primary ship-based helicopter and fulfills anti-submarine and anti-ship warfare, search and rescue, over-the-horizon targeting for nuclear attack submarines, and communication duties. Typical combat equipment includes stabilized roof-mounted sensors, onboard countermeasures, and door guns. When being used in the anti-tank role, the Lynx is typically armed with BGM-71 tow missiles. Missiles such as the Sea Skua have been used in the maritime anti-surface role. AW-101 The AW-101 Military Utility Medium Lift Helicopter is manufactured by global aerospace and defense company Leonardo Company. It was previously manufactured by Augusta Westland, a joint venture company formed by Italy's Augusta and British company GKN. Augusta Westland merged into Leonardo, which was previously known as Finn Mechanica in 2016. The multi-role helicopter can be flexibly deployed on missions such as tactical troop transport, utility transport, maritime interdiction operations, reconnaissance, anti-surface warfare, and search and rescue operations. Naval versions of the AW-101 can be armed with two anti-ship missiles or up to four torpedoes and depth charges. Armament options for military utility variants include a chin turret for a 12.7mm machine gun or pintle-mounted machine gun. The subwings provide the hard points for mounting of rocket pods. The AW-101 is equipped with infrared jammers, such as the Northrop Grumman Nemesis, directed infrared countermeasures, missile approach warners, shaft and flare dispensers, and a laser detection and warning system. Westland Sea King The Westland Sea King is a licensed, produced version of the Sikorsky S-61. Westland Helicopters acquired rights to produce this helicopter in the United Kingdom. The Westland Sea King first flew in 1969 and was adopted by the Royal Navy in 1970. It was also used by Royal Air Force for search and rescue operations. The Westland built around 340 Sea Kings for the anti-submarine warfare, airborne early warning and assault transport roles. Even though the Westland Sea King is a licensed, produced version of the Sikorsky S-61, it was fitted with British avionics and carried different ASW equipment than its American counterpart. The helicopter has a watertight boat-like hull. It has pontoons with floating bags that give the Sea King a capability to land on water. The Westland Sea King can carry four MK-44, MK-46, or Stingray torpedoes, or four depth charges. Export versions can carry Sea Eagle or Exocet missiles for anti-shipping duties. Also, this helicopter has provision for various door-mounted machine guns. HH-101A Caesar The HH-101A Caesar medium-lift helicopter is designed and developed by Leonardo Helicopters, formerly Augusta Wetland based on the AW-101 combat search and rescue variant. The helicopter is intended for special operations and personal recovery missions, and can also be used for search and rescue, medical evacuation, and slow-mover intercept operations. The HH-101A can be configured to accommodate a crew of up to 5 members and 20 fully equipped personnel or 6 crew and 8 special operations troops. Search and rescue equipment aboard the HH-101A includes a wireless intercom system, medical treatment module, dual rescue hoist, sea tray, controller, fast roping, rappelling, and stretcher racks. The HH-101A Caesar helicopter is fitted with three M134 7.62mm pintle-mounted Gatling-type machine guns on both sides, as well as on the rear ramp. An integrated electronic warfare system is installed to provide self-protection against radar, laser, and infrared threats.
It also protects the machine gun operators and the critical systems from ballistic threats. AW-159 Wildcat the AW-159 Wildcat is the British Royal Navy's new maritime surveillance and attack helicopter. The Royal Navy Wildcat can operate in blue water and littoral environments to provide over-the-horizon targeting for offensive and defensive surface and subsurface warfare, surface surveillance, and search and rescue. It has increased payload and an advanced avionics suite. Several crashworthiness features have been incorporated into the design to meet the military 90th percentile level for potential survivable crash case conditions. The Royal Navy Wildcat is fitted with a new stores management system, carrier and weapons launcher. Weapons options include 12.7mm door-mounted heavy machine guns, 20mm cannon pods, unguided or guided rockets, air-to-surface missiles, torpedoes, and depth charges. The Wildcat is equipped with BAE system Stingray lightweight torpedoes. The helicopter can also be armed with up to 8 Sea Venom anti-ship missiles. Augusta Westland Apache The Augusta Westland Apache is a license-built version of the Boeing AH-64D Apache Longbow attack helicopter for the British Army Air Corps. The first helicopters were built by Boeing. The remaining 59 were assembled by Westland Helicopters, later Augusta Westland, at Yeovil, Somerset in England from Boeing-supplied kits. Changes from the AH-64D include Rolls-Royce Turbo Mecha RTM-322 engines, a new electronic defensive aid suite, and a folding blade mechanism allowing the British version to operate from ships. Naval trials and temporary deployments at Sea Haven have proven the aircraft as an able platform to operate from the decks of ships, which is a unique application of the Apache amongst its operators. British Apache served in the NATO 2011 military intervention in Libya, operating from Royal Navy ships. The Apache AH-1 is to reach its out-of-service date in 2024 and be remanufactured to the later AH-64E version. Eurofighter Typhoon The four-nation Eurofighter Typhoon is a four-plane Delta Wing beyond visual range close air fighter aircraft with surface attack capability. Eurofighter has a super cruise capability which enables high-speed flight at sustainable speeds of over Mach 1, 761 miles per hour or 1,225 kilometers per hour without the use of afterburner. Development of the aircraft has been carried out by Eurofighter GmbH, based in Munich, Germany, and wholly owned by BAE Systems of the UK, Alenia Aeronautica of Italy, and the EADS Deutschland and EADS Spain, both of which are managed by Airbus Military. The aircraft will remain in service until 2040. The aircraft is constructed of carbon fiber composites, glass-reinforced plastic, aluminum lithium, Titanium and aluminum casting. Stealth technology features include low frontal radar cross section, passive sensors, and super cruise ability. The internally mounted Mauser BK 27mm gun is a revolver gun system with a linkless closed ammunition feed system. The Eurofighter Typhoon has 13 hardpoints for weapon carriage, four under each wing, and five under the fuselage. An armament control system manages weapons selection and firing and monitors weapon status. That's all friends. Thanks for watching. Write in the comments which of the aircraft and helicopters you like the most. Also, click the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new interesting videos.